There you go. <laughs> nice. Gotcha. Welcome to the office. All right, let's go over your x-rays. All right. You ready? Ready. This is a picture in time. It tells us how you've evolved from birth. We have 24 bones in the spine that move, 23 discs in between. This is your 24-story building. This is the foundation of your 24-story building. In order to have a stable building, we need a level base and foundation. This is your side profile. On the side profile, we're looking at three things. We're looking at do we have the right spinal curves, number one, how is our posture, and what is the condition of our discs. And we infer the condition of the disc by the spaces in between those bones there, okay? Um, let's start here on posture. Okay. And when we're looking at, at this side profile or lateral x-ray, we want, in pa terms of posture, we do a posture line. Back in the day, we used to do a physical plumb line. Um, I like this a little bit better. And what we're looking at is this. So we're looking at the posture line from the lowest lumbar vertebrae, which is your L5. We run it straight up and it should bisect the base of the neck and C2. Yours does, yours, your, the posture line does bisect at C2, but we can see we have this reverse curve. If it's supposed to bisect here, then we see we have a forward head posture. Yes? Yep. Okay. Let's go back here. What is the consequence of that? These muscles and ligaments are all working overtime just to kind of hold it up. So I know when you're sitting for long periods of time or standing long periods, you get stuff across your shoulder blade or shoulder area right. as well in the Correct. neck. Okay. So the cause is not the posture, but the posture it contributes to the problem. Okay. So that's posture. Curvature. Your lumbar curve is pretty decent here. I'm good with that, okay? I do see, though, it's going back a little earlier from L4 right here, okay? L4 kicks back a little bit sooner and takes it back a little bit further. Your mid-back curve is also pretty decent. It's what's happening from the base of the neck. We have a complete reversal of your curve. So we got to figure out what are we going to be able to do to help you not just with an adjustment, but what are the habits that we need to change in terms of sleeping, sitting, movement, things like that, activities of living. Right. Right? And we'll talk about that along the way. Now, does that make sense so far? Yeah, my sleeping uh, is not good. I, I know that. Correct. And we'll, we'll go over all this. All right. It'll be interesting to see what changes this week, okay? All right. First thing I see here is a tailbone injury. We need to start down on your coccyx. That's the first thing. Okay, we have a swollen little bit of S1 going on here as well. So we have S, sorry, S5 and coccyx with S1. That's your basement. Once the basement is settled, then we got to get to this L5. And that's the culprit right there. Okay, but we can't work on that until we have this stabilized. L5, if I look at the shape of that disc, that's about 15 to 20 years ago. Whatever it was that happened, just on the shape. As we go up the spine, you can see it's angled, right? But the discs are still in great condition. They're still good condition. Good or great? They're pretty good. Actually, they're really good. Okay, so these discs are all good. These discs are all good. Your mid, these are fantastic, okay? These are the spaces I'm looking at, all right? As we get here, I can see through there, I can see there, that rib is kind of blocking me in the front, but that's okay. The base of your neck issue is starting here at C7, you can see the tilt, okay, that tilts with it, that, and now the reversal starts here, okay, and all of that is coming from 7, the base. All right, so far so good? Good. Let's go to the AP now and let's put all this stuff together, or this x-ray and then put it all together. Now. We said we need a level base and foundation. What do we have going on here? We have a rotated sacrum, rotated pelvis, and we have a slightly short leg on the left. The good news is, regardless, three millimeter leg length discrepancy, anything under seven millimeters adjustments will hold. I'm not worried about that. This is what we have to figure out here. You have a rotated sacrum on the side of an ASEX pelvis. When we see ASEX or PIIN, I know it's from trauma, it's not from posture. 
okay and basically what the right SI joint is doing the right side goes up a s e x out so it goes up and out the sacrum goes back that's the disconnect but you're feeling symptoms you said on your left side they will they will once in a while shift to the right okay now we have coccyx down low here we said we're yes. going to be down here and we have to determine between sacrum and pelvis today um meaning i'm going to do coccyx and then i have to decide if i'm going to do the sacrum or the pelvis okay. Uh, whatever I do to the pelvis will not change the leg length, okay. and either way it's okay. It's wherever the fixation, subluxation is causing the nerve pressure. From there, we talked about the first floor, right? Mm -hmm. And, ooh, it's a little misleading. It's a little misleading, sir. I got it. So it's actually here to here, and it's rotated. That's a PRS. Interesting. Okay. Sorry, I just get excited. Hey. <laughs> uh, PRS. Okay. Now, what I want you to see here is from L5, right, you can see... L5 tilts causes that whole thing there. Yes, you yes. can see it tilt. Yes. It tilts, tilts, comes back to here, but what does it do? It doesn't stop, it continues. So this is all compensation. What I do want you to see is this. So if we look at these circles here, big, small. Those are big, small, big, small big small where is it coming from big small big small big small big small where are you at i said i know you're there big small t12 this is your transition this is where it's coming from t12 so basically from t12 everything is rotated like this okay and the circles give us the idea of what's happening so, the, these little circles so as it rotates to one side this one becomes bigger this one goes more to the periphery okay. you see what I'm showing you there yes okay and that happens all the way up that one particularly piques my interest t1 2 3 t4 and that was yet a good hit on that t4 right around here whatever it was whatever it <laughs> see a t4 t12 Coccyx, sacrum, and now let's go to the top. C2 is wedged that way. C1 is wedged that way. <coughs> Excuse me. Now if I move this line, you can see this whole atlas is shifted to the right side. So we're going to... I would feel more comfortable with you, especially on the first visit, staying in the parasympathetic nervous system. Because if there's anxiety, and and not, I don't want to say a little or a lot, and the uh, and the PTSD, then we don't want to be stimulating the sympathetic nervous system. Okay. Make sense? Yes. We want to focus on rest, digest. Yeah. Okay. And also, definitely, this is our focus. Number one is our foundation of everything and we're gonna work up top. All right. You ain't gonna go defense on me, right? No. Uh, you're gonna be shh. Alright. I've taken care of a lot of different service people, officers, this. There was one group I stopped because every time I try to adjust them, they reflexively try to hit me. Ah. You get what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah. I got Shasha. Don't mess. <laughs> <laughs> I just play it. Does that make sense? Yes. Sir? Any questions on the X ray? Um, let me zoom out. So, the, so those uh big and little circles, pretty much uh, what you said. Uh, I'm assuming that's uh. They just tell me how the how the bones are oh, twisted. Okay, that's hey, all it tells okay. me. And let me rewind before. Sorry. Okay. It doesn't mean one is bigger, one is smaller. It's the projection of okay. the X-ray. Okay. So if we're turned this way and we shoot the X-ray. 
it's going to project bigger okay. on one side. Oh, okay. okay. Sorry. I was just assuming it was, I was just rotated somewhere. <laughs> yeah, so from T12 are rotated okay. here. We have 4, 12, upper cervical, down. I'm not messing with 4 and 12 today. Okay. But please. All right. Okay, now for the first one. All right. And when I do do it, um, or if I even have to do it, then we're going to start. If for any reason I have to start in sympathetics, I will, Good. if I have to. But I will end, in your case, in the parasympathetic. Rest in bed. No rest. Let's get started. All right. All right. Let's get the blinds up. Show time. Over here, sir. All right. So you think the uh, rotated foundation is probably causing uh, extreme pressure on my knees? I ask that because um, I do have where if I have like if I have to do basic things like go to the bathroom, I have to sit on the toilet. I do have to you have to use assistance from from like the uh, bathtub because in the hotel I'm sitting at in Cuba, there is just uh, pretty much the tub toilet right here. So. If I have to sit down without assistance, extreme pressure comes from right both. here on both of these. And that is coming from the foundation that has Got been it. off first. Got it. We will report back to me after our first adjustment what's different. All right. And from there, we will decide on what... I will work on your feet today. Okay. I will work on your shoulders, arms, and elbows. I don't want to work on your knees with the foundation on the first Got visit, it. okay? Just Got for it. today. Got it. We will work on the upper cervical. If we need any jaw work or any of that, we will do it after the first visit. No problem. Okay? All right, let's get started. All right, let's run the meter on the back. All right. Ah, did you watch that couple that came from Kentucky? I did. Yeah? I did. Good couple. Good couple. And did you watch Jack? Which one was that? He one? was there, a guy who jumped out of the plane. And yes, yes. That was... Jack, you getting all these guys in, dude? <laughs> Jack. Jack's a good guy. And I also watched the uh, Air Force Reserve guy. I think he was from uh, Nellis in Vegas. Oh, yes. And then there's the Lady Air Force from yep. Alaska. I saw that. I definitely saw yeah. that one. Yeah. C2, left side, and you said folks are in Florida? Yes, sir. And they retired, chilling? Yes. Is yes. it really that cool to retire in Florida? Oh. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I, I mean, I mean, when I, when I went back home in uh, July, uh, a lot, a lot has changed. Um, a lot of development. A lot of development. Uh, prices went up, too. They're just... In, even in South Tampa alone, living there costs just as, just as much as out here. Oh, wow. Really? Yes. Wow. So today we're getting a lot of pressure on the upper cervical left side. And mid-back is okay right now. We got some flutters here, but I don't have any distinct breaks over here. When we get to the bottom, this is where I'm getting it. 15 points, S5 coccyx. Sacrum S1, seven points. All right, let's do some static palpation. Sure. Sit up straight. So Roderick's coming over from F Florida, we'll say. We'll say Florida. <laughs> we'll say Florida. 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 And uh, he's coming with a lot of neck and mainly back and knee stuff going on here. And he's going to be here a week with us. And let's see what happens along this, along the journey, all right? Static. So I know stuff will be showing up here. It's not showing up right now. I can feel a little bit of that swelling and edema there. Let's check down low. Back slowly towards me. That's L5. That's what we're gonna to need to get to, okay? A little tender. That one more. That's five. That's four. But we're going lower first. One, two, three, four, 
This is where I'm getting it down low. That's five. I'm going to be on your underwear, sir. Okay. Flex forward a little bit. That's the coccyx we're going to start on, okay? That one right there. Yeah, that's tender. Yes, sir. Coccyx and sacrum on the right. Come back slowly towards me. Good. Top of the joint, middle of the joint, bottom of the joint. That's not too bad on the hip. I'm feeling it more in the sacrum. Top, middle, bottom. Feet together, scoot forward a little bit. Okay. Feet together, open and close your knees with your feet touching, open and close. Okay. Right side only, please. Left side only. Well, it's more fixated on the right when he's doing this, okay? But overall, it's still decent movement. We're going to focus on the tailbone sacrum. This is the swelling and inflammation. So if I do my job right, that should be coming down, okay? We should be feeling more bone and less swelling. All right, so sit back for me, please. We got coccyx and we got rotated sacrum. Let's check the neck. We're going to have to get down here also, but it's not showing up today. This is what's showing up today. Do that right. Yep. That's C2 left. That's C1 right there. Okay. Okay? Good. Turn left. Turn right. Look up. This is called Devor's test, isolating the lower cervical spine. Flex down, feet out just a little bit for me. There you go. Head down, turn left, turn right. Right down the left. All right. Stand up and watch you walk, and then we'll put a game plan together. You're going to start in the corner over there. What are they be doing in Tampa? Um, oh. Watching football. They like their Buccaneers, huh? They do like their Buccaneers. Hopefully uh, we get somewhere next year. Keep up a little bit short, but you know, it's it's Detroit. So when he sees you see his hip, his hips actually move decent, but the mid back is very choppy in his walk, and he walks on the outside of both feet. He kind of supinates on the outsides. When I see someone like that who walks like this, bilateral toe out, supinating on the outside. That's an upper cervical issue. That's the body trying to maintain balance. Okay? And this is your normal walk, correct? Yes. All right. Got some work. Have a seat, please. Before I do that, I got to tie my shoe. Oh. Now, one thing I do notice when I walk uh, with certain shoes, uh, not, not particularly my Air Max, but, but I'll, I'll, I'll pull on my Jordans because... Uh, I'll just wear them. I, I, do, I do notice that uh, I have more control on my right when I walk, and then with my left, it just feels like it just naturally stomps. Stomps? Yeah. So it feels like I don't have full control on my left to, leg. To, to heel strike or toe off? Uh, it's heel, it's strike. heel strike. strike. So when you're doing a heel strike, you feel, because remember, that side's a little shorter. So you feel like you're stomping. Correct. Like that. Okay, so that's Correct. a good test for us, right? Correct. That's a good observation. Now, here's our game plan for today. You ready for me? Ready. We're going to work on coccyx, sacrum, and critical atlas. Okay. I will start up top in your case. Okay, okay we're going to do critical atlas first. Okay. After that, I'll have you walk. All right. Coccyx, sacrum. Then I'll tune up the rest. Showtime. Sit back for me. All right. Tampa. We get a lot of people from Florida, actually. Orlando, Miami, Jacksonville. Oh, come forward. Yeah, Jacksonville. Never from Cuba, though. Florida. Sorry, Florida. Edit. Florida. Now, another thing I do want to mention before I start. Um, because he has the reverse curve going on, you typically don't want to adjust into a reverse curve in the work. However, there are a few exceptions. If there's wedging on the AP film, which is the right side, we have some wedging, we will set it maybe once or twice. Okay. 
I don't anticipate needing or wanting to set it more than that. I'm talking about C2, not C1. Okay. Just get a list in here. Sweet. All right. C2, PLS. Now, because he's slightly reversed, I got to bring my angle a little bit down, my elbow down, and I got to lift C2 a little bit more than I would. There it is. Gotcha. That's the home. Deep breath in and out. One more time. Deep breath in. And out. Now let's open up the atlas. There it is. There. Drop it down. Ooh, he's quick. Nope. It's, oh. it's definitely tight. It's all right. I'll get it over here. Come on. <laughs> I've got many ways, my friend. <laughs> We've got many ways. Left you in the hole. All right, this hand's gonna go there. Uh, slide up a little, sir. And right hand by your nose, eyes right there. Let the elbow hang down. Slide over a little towards me. There you go. It is a little tight. You good there? Good. Gotcha, a little more. That's it. Head down, please. I'm going to let you walk once and reset and come back on the table. Right. I just realized one thing. I'm going to I have to do one more thing on that atlas. Okay. And we had a similar situation the other day. Walk it off, please. I'm going to get a little more. So if we look back at his atlas here, um, Shesha, you can film it on the TV if you can see what I'm doing or come over here. And I have to actually lift the TP up, which I, I'm going to have to lift because we've got a little bit of curvature uh, wearing out of the lateral mass. Let me see if I can get a little different. Sorry, a little more. Sit back. So we're going to come down. We want to go down like this. But now I want to lift it up, over, mm. and through. We've got a little more. Walk it up. One more time. Come back over here and have a seat. That's oh, right, face down. I'm on the outside underwear. Relax the shoulders. From the right. Not that easy. Four, three, two. There you go. <laughs> nice. Gotcha. Alright, Roger. I'm going to have you walk it off again. Step back slowly. Walk it off. Yeah, I definitely felt that one in my left leg. That when last you, adjustment? That last one when you push down, mm -hmm. I felt it all the way up, all the way down on the left leg. Is that different now when you're walking? Anything Se different? Seems like it. Okay. Slider. Don't get too happy though. Slider. This guy played poker, man. Huh? You got poker face. I, I do play poker. Uh, you got mad poker face. Dude. You got mad poker face. It's good. Left side down. Head over here, facing that way. 
And let's get a little bit of that sacrum for you. Bottom leg straight, top leg is bent. Look straight ahead, roll as a unit. I got you the whole way. You know what's interesting with him? I'm just speaking to the, to these guys. Uh, he's he's built, big guy. But I can move him around because you know what? He ain't fighting me. He's like moving with me. So I'm moving him. It's like I'm moving a, a 50 pound kid. I'm seriously no joke. It's a good. It's a it's a compliment. All right. He's not fighting. He's letting me do it. He's hooking. He's doing everything. I appreciate that, by no the way. Problem. You have no idea how much I appreciate that. No <laughs> roll with me, sir. Roll, roll. Can I bring that shoulder up? There. Gotcha. My butt. Walk it out. feel myself uh, up and down. Mm. <laughs> mm. Back over here and have a seat, sir. Mm. Let's recheck. Starting at the base. Neck is clear. Sweet! All clear. Check it out. All the way back. That's five. That's one. That's two. That's three. That's four. That's five. Now we go down. That's coccyx. A little different, yeah? Very good. Shall we continue? Yes. What's mom's name? Denise. If you don't mind me asking. Denise. Denise, did you ever do this? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to. <laughs> Go on your back here. Face up. Actually, your brother's probably did that. <laughs> Raise your right leg, AS talus, medial tilt, sound as the boards. Raise the leg up, please. AS talus, medial tilt. There you go. Set up and turn. And let's work on the shoulders. I'm reaching around. Let me do the work. Drop the elbow. There you go. Let me do the work. That's it. Now buff and polish. <laughs> Let's do the buff. Vibration therapy, 170 to 180 hertz frequency. So your job while you're here, sir, is just to get as much walking as you can, okay? We'll do. Shush is gonna give you a grocery list of anti-inflammatory foods, okay? There are meat options and fruits, vegetables, everything is there. Walk it off one last time and let's rub it on the hands, please. Actually, two times, and you can tell me kind of now you see a little difference in your balance. Yeah? Yeah. Cool, for sure. Back over here, sir. Slowly, slightly squeeze. Squeeze. That's it. Lunate. Scaffold. Thumb. See the joint. Squeeze. Good. Squeeze. Turn a little this way. Turn your body a little this way. There you go. Squeeze. Elbow. Thank you for that control of the reflex. I felt it. <laughs> Almost there. There you go. There you go, squeeze. Welcome to the office. Thank you. You're very welcome. <laughs> you got a week, okay? Your job is to just relax, get the movement in, have fun. You swim, go to the beach. You can deal with the water. Of course. Right? Yeah. Okay.
All right, sir. Thank you.